all over the world now, never a day passes without the mention of COVID-19 disease. The number of confirmed cases keeps rising. So is the number of deaths. The figure in Nigeria has risen to over 7,000 and no hope it will decline soon. Lagos and Kano states, the federal capital territory and Katsina are the four highest. As if that is not a big enough fish to fry, Katsina also grapples with the challenge of displacement of its citizens. This is due to the activities of bandits and kidnappers. At the last count, more than 13,000 people are living in the IDP camps across the nine local government areas of the state. These people here are a new batch, having been here for the past three weeks. So we don't even know for how long they are going to stay here. We've contacted SEMA, they came, they conduct the headcount and other things, and they promised to come and... In fact, move them to a safer place because, you can, as you can see here, they are just on the road, no toilets, nothing, and this is where they eat themselves and everything they want to do. This they sleep here. There are promises by the state emergency managers to cater to their needs. We took their data, and we supplied some food items to them. That includes rice, beans, uh, uh, millet. Uh, spaghetti, macaroni, so that at least they will have food on a daily basis. Just how easy will stopping community transmission of COVID-19 be in the Northwest state that has recorded 13 deaths already? We are all aware of the situation we are in here in terms of uh, COVID-19. So those that are symptomatic, we are going to screen them and uh, triage and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, we do the needful in terms of uh, their health uh, needs. Earlier in May, Governor Minu Masari lamented what he described as a double disaster in the state. That's talking about the COVID-19 pandemic and banditry. Addressing the security situation in the state may be an indirect way of fighting the pandemic in the state that has recorded over 300 cases of COVID-19 already.